Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to input past medical and surgical history as well as family history. The first step you're going to have to make is to go to the histories tab. For past medical and surgical history, you'll then open up the medical surgical panel and then hit add. From there, you'll just pay attention to whether or not you're in the medical or the surgical panel. If it's past medical history, just go ahead click off whatever it is and then hit add to grid. If it's a blue link, it's just going to ask you to specify the type of allergen in this example. You'll just select from the pick list and then hit save to grid and close. In terms of past surgical history, the same process occurs. Click off what you want to add to the grid. Otherwise, go to the other section to find other surgical histories. Once you're all done, you'll then hit save and close at the end. The family history panel works exactly the same. To add new family histories, go to add. The major difference in steps is first you have to specify the relationship to the patient. So in this case, we'll say the brother has a history of allergies. And after selecting the particular family history, you can mark if the family member is still alive and well or if they're deceased. Otherwise, hit save to grid. And the same process will occur for any of these blue links. It'll just ask you to specify the type of arthritis. In this case, we'll keep it general. So once you select your condition, then hit save to grid and close. And it'll add below. And once you're all done with the past family histories, then hit save and close. And you're all done with adding both past medical and surgical history as well as family history. Thank you very much for your time.